Well, folks, my shop is a hot mess right now. <laughs> but we still got more body work to go. There's actually a lot to go, but for now, like I said, I'm trying to break this down into stages. So we're gonna continue the trend. We're gonna clean up this panel a little bit. We're gonna get that thing ready. I'm gonna set a really small goal because, well, it hasn't been working out well for me here trying to set rather big goals, but uh, the plan gonna be, let's get this fender body worked, similar to that. I wanna at least get both fenders primed and this rear bumper, get the body work and get in and primer. That would be, that's where I'm setting my goal for today. That would be ideal. I wouldn't mind tackling some of the cab, but we're just not, that's just not gonna happen for a while. I'm okay with that. Uh, at some point I'm gonna have to start on the roof. I really don't know how I'm going about that, but that'll be very soon we're gonna be doing that. Anyways, uh, I think that's where we're gonna go because at least if I can get that stuff in primer, I can kinda, we can do some more fab work and I can kinda just blow out and clean out the whole shop. For now, I just have to shut off that it's very dusty in here <laughs> until we get going uh, on something else. Anyways, let's get going. So first step here, seeing how the laser thing didn't work. And honestly, that buffing wheel was kind of crappy. I'm gonna see if I have any stripping discs I can put on. I think I have like a polisher or something. Uh, maybe the polisher will work if I just even stick one of these 36 grits on and we'll just see if I can strip this down faster with that. That would be kind of ideal. So we'll start with that. After I'm gonna go probably pull this bumper off and we'll have a look-see at that. But we'll get that thing full of bodywork first because I don't want to have too much stuff going on. One, two at a time. We got this thing stripped down. We still got, you can see wherever the paint is, is actually all the dents. <laughs> There's actually a lot on this one. I think I'm actually gonna just try to walk this one through the English wheel if I can, other than a few spots. There's a, a goofy brace inside of here. I guess hindsight, I could take it off and then just try to walk it through the wheel just, to, just so we don't need to put so much mud on it. Overall, it's not terrible but there are some bad spots like this could use a little massaging some of my welds honestly could use some but yeah we got some weird creases in a few things so even have a little pinhole there we got to go clean up yeah i think it'd just be better we walk it through the wheel we'll sand it one more time and then we'll see how nice it is i kind of well we fixed my wheel way way back uh we kind of cleaned up a bunch of dies i got a whole bunch of bearings so this thing should be good to go. These honestly need to be like polished yet, but they're, uh, I don't know, you know how it is. That rust, that burn rust seems to always come back. I clean it and do whatever, and then it just seems to sort of start to flash rust. I gotta get a couple more bearings because I didn't have, but I don't think I need any of these profiles, so. Oh, well, yeah, no. It'll be mostly flat, I think. We'll find out. 
If anything, we can go through, we can grab like Carl's uh, has this profile gauge. So we can use this. We could use this planishing hammer, but I think just the wheel's good enough for what I'm doing. He has, uh, this thing just shows all your radiuses. And even if you have like, I think this thing is a Princess Auto or a Harbor Freight die. Uh, B roller, but I think in the day that you would have actually had it's written on the side of them if they weren't so <laughs> burnt and messed up. Uh, see here, this one is like a number four, it says. And is there something written on that one? I don't know. I can't. There's something, but I can't see it. Anyways, the number four, so like that die is this profile. So when we go look at our fender and you want to roll it through there, you would, uh, if you have one of these contour gauges, you can see how five, no bueno, four, no good. Six is pretty close. Seven in this area is like right on the money. So that's kind of where we would want to go. And then as we get closer to the top, you can see this is not right. Now we're like this profile in this area is like a five. This is a six. This is if you're trying to build a fender, I guess, but you know, you can see the big whammo we got going on in there, but I think I can bang that with a hammer. Anyways, we're just gonna quickly walk it through the English wheel and then we'll sand it one more time and see where we're at. Everything's getting a little stuck. Gotta loosen it all up. All right, let's get up in here. Oh, gonna get that in there. Negative. I think I'm gonna have to move a few more things here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me do the shuffle here. All right, we got this one big dent we just gotta get out though. Yeah, more or less. This'll smooth it out. <laughs> Two people would be better for this. Definitely not shooting for perfect, I'll tell you that. Just trying to make it a little better, that's all. Change the diode for down there. This works, it's just a pain. Just try to do this all by yourself. You get lost with an English wheel if you veer a little wrong and it doesn't steer right, if that makes sense. Yeah, kind of have the wrong die on it for that. If you get the wrong profile, it'll end up leaving little bumps like steps. One die doesn't 
doesn't do it all. I don't think I made this thing tall enough. It's pretty good. Well, the struggle is real. There's maybe somebody out there who knows what they're doing better than me, and they're going to be screaming at the monitor. <laughs> Much better. Nope. All right. Let's have a quick peek and see what this thing's supposed to be. It's looking like a five. Just basically want to hit this area and do a little bit down here and call her a day. I, don't know. I have a six, so. Carl's hammer comes with all the different profiles. And they sit in there really tight. It's a three. I don't know what a five is. Seven. It's a five. Four. <laughs> five. All right. I just have a few more spots right here I want to hit. I can't really, well I can, but I'm not going to move. This thing's getting really floppy and I'm worried I'm going to start wrecking stuff, so. Don't have a good way to support it. Well, we sanded it all down, cleaned it up. It is definitely better than it was. You can kind of see everywhere we got this is sort of a low spot. You could work it to no man's land, but I'm happy with that result. I think what I'm going to do yet, though, is weld in this cross brace that's supposed to go in here. It was riveted and I popped it off. I think hindsight, I probably should have just done that with that fender, but eh. it's going to look the same. It's going to totally need a, um, like a coat like that on it anyways. So. That's not a big deal. So I guess I am pretty much ready for mud on this thing. We're gonna go do the same thing that we did last time. I'm gonna first mix up some fiberglass. I'm just gonna go over all the seams and my welds and stuff like that. Hit it with a full shellac of Bondo. Let it cure, sand, repeat. <laughs>
Well, we got our first layer of mud on. Well, we did the glass, then we did mud pretty much right away. So we gotta have to sit and let that set. That looks completely excessive, and it is. Uh, we're gonna pretty much sand probably at least 80% of that, if not more, off. But that's just what I do. I'm very wasteful with the mud because I don't wanna keep smearing it on and on and on. So I kinda had to do it in blobs. I was trying out this, well, uh, this little bondo board is pretty nice, but I can't put too much on it. This is the one where you, you peel a piece of paper off. This one you can put a little more mud on, but yeah, whatever. So we mixed it up. It's going to take a little longer to dry because we did it in about two or three blobs. So that's all right. Uh, pretty much just going to sit and wait. You'll see. We're probably going to get mowed down quite a bit with this one. So a lot of the steel was actually pretty good on here, but kind of is what it is. Again, I'm very wasteful. Uh, I just buy the cheap Bondo and just kind of go nuts with it and sand it all off. So anyways, once this dries, I am back at it and uh, we're gonna, well, it's gonna dry and then I'm gonna basically sand most of it off. <laughs> Well, that worked out really well. The, uh, this, uh, we did a really heavy coat. You can see there's like a million pounds of this stuff on the ground. Anyways, I way overdone it, which is good. I sanded everything down, feels good. I think I'm a little high here yet. I gotta sand a little more off in that spot. But uh, 
other than that, everything's uh, pretty good. We got one spot here, we got a spot here to add a bit. We got a bunch of pinholes here. Don't know if you can see that. The rest of it feels pretty acceptable. There's a little bit of a weird wow over here, but all I'm gonna do is, uh, um, the high build should get all that. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, overall, yeah. You see me just pound that stuff on, but I am super wasteful because, well, I got it pretty close on the first coat. So, there's half a pail sitting on the ground, but eh, I'm uh, very short on patience when it comes to this stuff. So I'm gonna smear a little bit more onto here and then uh, a little bit over, where did I have? Oh, I think it was just here and here. I needed a little bit. I think I got one spot here. I kind of hit that. I think that's on my weld, so I'm not sure if I should fill. I might try to hammer it down and just fill it, and then we'll sand it out. If you uh, don't wait too long, a feller, this stuff's actually not so terrible to sand. Like, if you're a guy who uh, smears this stuff on and waits a day, you're gonna hate life. I uh, usually smear it on, and actually normally I would cheese grade this, but I actually don't have a cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Not anymore though, but that's okay. I gotta get another one. I only thought of that now. Usually when I go that heavy, I put a cheese grade. I cheese grade it, then I hit it with a 36. Usually bang it out pretty rough, do a second coat, and it's usually pretty close. And then we got little things like I got right now. So I did pretty good this round. Anywho, I'm gonna smear a couple of those spots. They're very small. We're gonna sit and have a pop and uh, wait for it to dry and then we'll sand that out. And then this thing should be ready for primer. Then that'll mean all we got left to do is do the back bumper. I might actually hit my goal this video. <laughs>
Well, folks, this stuff turned out super nice. Look at this. Don't mind that. That's the bottom of the bumper. <laughs> it looks much nicer on top. Still super rough, but once we sand that out, it's going to be just mint. At least everything's all in one color. Or, yeah, one color. One step closer. The, uh, you see, I started sanding on the back of the box, but I'm realizing I think I got to pull the box off one more time to get this all done and uh, properly sanded and to get the body work done. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get spots around here where it's not, not so easy to, to smear and do things. And then I realized the inside of the bed needs stuff. And then I still don't know what the, the tonneau cover thing. I'm sure I'll just bolt it. So that's not a big deal. But like all this stuff here needs to get body work and things too. So if I only started on the outside, I think we just got to do the whole box. Just do it all in one shot and call it done. Um, around here, like it's really easy. It's just going to be a little, a little finger squeege with the Bondo and stuff. That'll be easy, but we don't even have the mesh on the top and I don't have the cutout yet. So yeah, just kind of is what it is, I guess. Or I just don't want to do it <laughs> is what it boils down to. Anyways, for a little bit further, I think that is where I am going to leave this one. So as always, I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Later.